Seals have shared the ocean with countless other marine creatures for millions of years. They are part of complex ecosystems, ecosystems that are increasingly under pressure from humans. Overfishing has caused the collapse of many fish stocks. Decades later, many of these fish stocks have failed to return. Some fisheries are not recovering, and fishermen are looking for someone, or something, to blame. They're blaming seals. On the surface, fishermen see seals as competitors and want to kill them. But if we look below the surface, we see a tremendously complex relationship between seals, fish, and other marine life. Seals eat a wide variety of food, most of which are of little interest to fishermen. All marine animals, from plankton to whales, need to eat, and their interactions contribute to the formation of complex marine ecosystems. Back on the surface, politicians support killing seals because they're an easy target, and it helps them avoid the truth that fisheries have been poorly managed. We all want to see the recovery of fish stocks, but removing seals from the picture won't mean more fish, and it won't mean more fish will be caught by fishermen. Killing seals could cause an increase of other predators, resulting in fewer fish, and it could destabilize the ecosystem in ways we cannot begin to predict. For some governments, politics are more important than science. Many countries have already tried killing seals to help fish stocks, and their efforts have failed. Killing seals is not the answer, and it could make things worse in our already depleted oceans. Tell the government to look below the surface, separate science from politics, and stop blaming seals.